Many of us actually, you know, we want to escape from the burdens and the sufferings of life. And so sometimes we all end up doing things that we regret. Because we have forgotten our purpose and we lack courage to carry on. And that is why many of us, we give up. That's why today when we celebrate visitation of our Blessed Mother, she gives us some clue as to how we should remain focused in our vocation. What is it that will keep us moving ahead and not to give up, as St. Paul urges us? Firstly, I think it's very important to realize that we are all blessed. If you don't feel that you are blessed, then of course you have nothing to give. We need to count our blessings. What has the Lord bestowed on you? What has the Lord given to you? That's why today in the gospel, Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord because he has looked upon his holy, his lowly handmaid. From this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. She was grateful for the gift of motherhood, divine motherhood. In fact, Mary had nothing else to offer except the gift of divine motherhood. How to be a good mother. How to be a good disciple of our Lord. That's all she did. She didn't do great things. She was just, so to speak, an ordinary mother. But she knew her vocation was just to be a good mother to her son Jesus. And because she was grateful that she has been chosen, she was able to lift up her life in self-sacrifice. So I think the consciousness of being chosen for a particular task and the great gratitude is what actually keeps you faithful. But the moment you take for granted, the moment you think, oh, I earned it, the moment you think that I paid for it, the moment you think you deserve it, then we will abuse the gift that we have. We will use it to destroy people. We will use it to feed ourselves for our own interest. We will use it in a very selfish manner. Mary, conscious of the gift, but don't be overconscious though. When we become overly conscious of who we are, of, so to speak, our position, our office, then it leads to arrogance. It leads to egoism. Mary, although being the mother of Jesus, she was totally forgetful of herself. She was just focused on the task. What we need to do is not focus on the position. You have a position in life, be focused on the work, focus on your task. This forgetfulness of Mary, she was only conscious that she was called to bring Jesus to the world by reaching out in love and service. As St. Paul says, make hospitality your special care. If any of the saints you are in need, you must share with them. That was a thought to go out. But what was important was that she was inspired by the Holy Spirit. That is why we need to connect this feast to Pentecost. The Holy Spirit who overshadowed Mary must have inspired her. Hey, your cousin is expecting. Immediately, she went out. So it's the inspiration of the Holy Spirit put a good thought in her mind. And she went out. And she, I don't know whether she was conscious or not, that she was not just going to bring Jesus uh, by her hospitality. 
she was going to bring Jesus to anoint John the Baptist and to fill Elizabeth and John the Baptist with joy. So when she went, the child leapt in the womb. It's so beautiful when the person is being led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit worked miracles beyond her expectation. I'm sure when she went there, she thought, okay, let's get to work. You know, Elizabeth, what do I need to do? But they were so moved. And it's the joy, actually, that unites them. It's the joy that gives the continue, you can say, motivation to proclaim Christ. When there is no joy, it's very difficult to proclaim Christ. So this is where today the Lord is inviting us. We are called to be visitations of our Lord. Wherever we go today, ask yourself, how do we bring Jesus to others? By our words, by our deeds, by our presence, by our prayers, by using whatever the Lord has blessed us with. That is how we become visitations of God. But we need to pray. We need to be attentive to how the Holy Spirit is asking us. Unless we are prayerful, we might be doing things out of our own insecurity. We might be doing it out of ambition. But if you are listening to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit tells you, okay, it's just like the Holy Spirit told Philip, go, and she went then. No? It's being prompted. That is why, as we prepare for the Feast of Pentecost, we pray that we might have a prayerful spirit like Mary, very prayerful and attentive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And that is what actually the entrance, uh, the collect tells us, grant we pray that we may be faithful to the promptings of the Holy Spirit because it was the Holy Spirit that inspired Mary to visit Elizabeth. In this way, as we celebrate Feast of Visitation, then if we know that we have brought Jesus to someone, then that is always fulfilling. That is always joyful. So it's not actually what great things we have done. It's not about how much we have done. It's about, have I, the usual words I use, have I made a difference in the lives of this person? Have I given someone hope, someone joy, a listening ear, comfort as they struggle in life. That is why uh, today St. Paul ends by saying, bless those who persecute you, rejoice with those who rejoice, be sad with those who are in sorrow, never be condescending because it's about feeling with people. It's not that we are greater, it's not that we have more, but we are filling with people and we are reaching out because we see our heart in them and we see their heart in us. This is what we are called to do. Amen.